Now let's implement the concept of localization and internationalization using these two classes. One is local, local and second is resource bundle. So what we need to do now is let's say uh, first of all let me let me print something called as happy birthday. Okay, so if I print this text, let me run this code, and the output you'll be getting is happy birthday, right? But I don't need this uh, happy birthday here. What I need to print is, I just want to print, uh oh, what's that? Okay. So what I need to print is, I just have to print wish. So depend upon the wish, uh, if I specify a language called as English, it should print happy birthday. If I use a language called as Hindi, it should print Janmadik uh, Mubarak. And depend upon different, different languages, it should print different, different text, right? But to work with that, First way to create is a properties file. Now how to create a property file? Just right click on your package, create, click on new and you can search for properties file. But in case if you don't find here, click on other, just, just go to others and you will find a property file here. Now click on next and name this as bundle. You can name it as anything, like you can make, name it as my bundle or my file, my resources, any, anything. And then click on finish. Now, if you go for the default text, by default it will be empty. Now, uh, now what we need to do? Now, in this property file, we have to mention a key value pair. Now, what exactly key value pair means? Key is your uh, word you'll you'll be using in your code that is wish, and the value should be fetched from here. So we have to specify the value is happy birthday. So you can see wish is black color and this value is in orange color, right? Uh, so what we do now is let's uh, let's fetch that data here. Now to fetch this bundle here or this value here, by default the language you will be following is English and the country you have to follow is US. So we'll create a two string variable. One is language which specify the language and we'll say the language we are you are using here is English and second way to specify is the country so the country name here will be US because your keyboard or your system is configured to work with this English language which belongs to US we can we can also use English UK you can also use English uh, in any other country Next, we have to create is a locale object. So let's create, we'll say this is L equal to new locale. Now, in this, you have to specify uh, two parameters. One is language name, second is country name, and the language is lang, and country is country, and we'll say a semicolon. Next, we have to create a object of resource bundle because the only way you can fetch data from that property is using this resource bundle. So we'll say resource bundle. And you can see both these classes belong to the same package called java.util. And we'll say r equal to. Now the way you can you have to create a resource bundle is by saying resource bundle dot get bundle. It will ask you for two parameters. The first parameter is the property file name and we'll say the property file name is bundle. And the next thing you need to specify is the locale object because depending upon the locale, it will fetch for the properties. Example, let's say uh, the, the only language I'm using here is English, right? Let's say I want to work with Hindi or uh, German language. I need to create more uh, property file here. That will, that will see later. Now to fetch that wish, we'll say create a string. Uh, we'll say wish equal to. Now this wish here is a, a, a variable, Java variable, and then I will change this to say str to make it simple. And then we can use get uh, r dot get string, and you have to specify a key. Now key value is this. You have to specify this key, which is wish. So in this we specify wish, and that's it. Let's print that str. So we'll say system dot dot print and print str. Now if you run this code. It will jump to this file, bundle.properties. It will fetch the key, key is wish, and the value is happy birthday. And you will get that wish here in str, and you're printing that, right? If I run this code, uh-oh, I'm getting an error. Yeah, uh, the problem is, I had to specify, um, I mentioned bundle, but uh, the bundle is in package locale demo. So to specify locale demo slash bundle. I forgot to mention the exact path. 
Okay, so let me just run this now and the out output is happy birthday, right? Simple. So this is how you, you have to use this class as a resource bundle. But question arises, what if I, I want in different language? Now to work with different language, you need to create some more properties file and how to do it, that we'll see in the next part.